All right, we got reports that you've been coughing on people out here, man. Okay, wow. So he's wanting to cough on me now. So. Chance on you, but. What is up, everybody? Today we are going to be doing a COVID 19 patrol. And uh, we're going to be patrolling the Mobile area in Los Santos. Um, as everybody know that is familiar with Mobile, Alabama, we just got pushed to a mask audience, which requires everybody to wear a mask at all times. That's in public. If you're not practicing social distancing of six feet. So what we're going to be doing in this patrol here is... Um, Pretty much just make sure that everybody's following the six foot uh, social dissident guidelines. Anybody that we see that is not following the guidelines, we will be issuing some citations. And um, also I got in a uh, quarantine call out pack. So that should make this a little bit more interesting for COVID-19. So we're going to get out there and uh, see what we can get ourselves into. Hopefully this will be a pretty busy patrol. And also, we have our mask on as well. Um, I've done a few updates to this uh, Tahoe. I made it look a little bit more like a replica. So, um, yeah. Still a few more things I got to do, but we're going to roll with it for this patrol. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and make myself back 10-8 and um, hopefully we can start receiving some of these new calls that I put in place. Let's see. Yeah, I really wanted to uh, get this patrol pushed out for the 4th of July, but um, my schedule was too busy and I just didn't get a chance to do it. But um, better late than never. So far, everybody looks like they're pretty much following the um, six foot social dissident. Citizens report, assistance required and all trust. Okay, there we go. First call out is a quarantine Roger call that. out. Units respond code two. So we're gonna respond the code two. Alright, so apparently we have somebody that's been tested positive for COVID-19 and um, they're apparently trying to leave the home. So we're going to go over here and I guess do a welfare check, make sure that they stay here and um, we'll go from there. We can turn off our lights from there. We gotta be extra careful because, like I said, this is a um, tested positive person for COVID-19. So, um, just gonna get out and take a look, see what we can find. All right, there we go. So we're gonna press Y to ring the doorbell. We're gonna step back. It seems the suspect is not home, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and let this person know that. Target last seen in uh, Vinewood. 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can trace down this subject here. Suspect left. Uh, excuse me. Target vehicle license plate 444 Mary X ray Nora 631 on uh, Alter Street. Units respond code 2. Alright, looks like a suspect is returning to the address, so. Yep, there they are right there. Let's see if we can go ahead and stop them. Alright, so just because I don't want to mess up traffic right here, what I'm going to do is have them to um, go pull over there. Okay, they're taking off. Attention all units. Officers report a suspect on the run. Units respond code 3. All right. Dispatch, we got a visual on the perp in pursuit. All right, so dispatch basically notified us and let us know that um, this this sub this suspect uh, tested positive for COVID-19 and is supposed to be quarantined. And um, like I say, I went to go knock on the door to see if they were still there, and they was not there. We got the okay. There we go. Okay, we got him. Do it. You're under arrest. Attention, all units. We are code four. Suspect apprehended. Okay, and he has a baggie of marijuana on him, so, all right. Be going in for that as well. Assistance required on Hawick Avenue. Alright. 
All right, so that wasn't too bad for our first call. Basically, the um, guy tested positive for COVID-19. He was told to quarantine for um, two weeks. And like I say, he did not do that. He left um, and his family called him, uh, called us to, you know, locate him. And once I got there, he was not there. And we actually seen him in the area. I think whenever he was getting ready to come back, um, he was deciding to, you know, keep going since he saw us at the house. So his family probably told him before not to leave, and he did anyways. So, uh, like I say, I attempted to pull him over, and then that's when he took off. So, um, that's the reason why he's going to be going to jail today. Citizens report a group of persons in Little Soul. All right, we just got a call of a large Copy gathering. That. Units respond code two. So we're gonna head out there and um, see if we can break up this situation here. Uh, I'm not sure if they're having a party or what's going on out there, but somebody reported there's a large group of people that are not practicing social distancing. So we're gonna see if we can get that taken care of. Let's go this way. Looks like they're gonna be over here in this parking lot. <laughs> yep, there they go. Attention, all units. Officers have arrived. I do believe we get some backup on this call here, so um, I'll wait for some assistance too. Okay, some of them are taking off. We're going to let our officers take care Unit of those. Three. Suspects a crime scene. Unit and we're going to talk to these people. Dispatch, suspect located. Moving to engage. Dispatch, we have a visual. Dispatch, we have a visual. Dispatch, suspect located. Moving to engage. Alright, so it gives Dispatch, us options to find located. them. Moving to engage. Uh, pretty much I'm just gonna write them a warning let her know that you know you can't be out having a party the other people that's taking off on us they more than likely gonna be arrested okay she left with no problem Alright, I'm gonna be issuing him a warning as well. He didn't have any problem. He didn't take off running. And another thing too, y'all wanna have mask on when y'all coming in contact with everybody. Okay, uh, like I said, we're not going to be issuing citations unless, you know, they it's their second offense. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be issuing warnings. Unless they, you know, are defiant with me. Ma'am, I'm not going to find you. I'm just going to issue you a warning. So, um, like I say, on your next offense, if you're still out here doing that, then you will be having a fine. Alrighty, so we got those taken care of. 
Uh, I'm gonna head over here with the rest of my officers and see if they apprehended those other three Attention subjects. We are code four. Okay, so they did arrest them, so outstanding. So we got three of them uh, sighted and um, with warnings, and then we also got three that got taken in custody. So that was a pretty good call. So we're gonna head on out and um, see what else we can get into. Chamberlain Hill. Roger that. Units respond code two. Alright, so we just got a call of um, reports of somebody coughing on somebody. So we're going to see if we can head on over here to this area and find this subject and stop them. Um, not sure why they're doing that, but uh, we're going to get over here and see if we can get this person to stop. Alright, so it was right up the road. It looks like he's gonna be over here in this area over here. Alright, so this is gonna be one of those calls we've got to get out and look for the subject. Attention all units. Officers arrived on scene. So we're just going to get out and walk around and see if we can find anybody that may be um, coughing on somebody. So I can hear him. I believe it's gonna be this guy here. Yep. Let's go ahead and talk to him. All right, we got reports that you've been coughing on people out here, man. Okay, wow. So he's wanting to cough on me now, so. I can't find you back. Attention all units. Units reporting. A suspect on the run. Units respond code Get 3. I'm gonna be taking him into custody. He just coughed right in my face as well. So, um... Attention all units. We are code 4. Suspect apprehended. Man, what is your problem, man? Have you been drinking? Okay, yeah, this guy is definitely going to be, um, Man, for real? taken into custody. He just coughed right in my face. I cannot believe it. Like, you got anything on you that I need to know about? Okay, so he has no, uh, no weapons or anything like that on him. No drugs. Go ahead and get dispatched to run his information. Expire license, okay. 
All right, man. I'm gonna call for prison transport. Assistance required and, uh, in. You're gonna be transported uh, to jail for assault. Chamberlain Hill. Man. All right, uh, that's my backup unit. Hey man, he just coughed right in my face, so be careful, man. gonna catch up to this reckless um, driving vehicle that is apparently not wanting to stop. Uh, the vehicle is occupied two times. I'm not sure why they're running. <laughs> That's it. Yep, we gotta have to fix that. Okay, we just got dispatched out to a uh, person that is not responding, so uh, I'm going to see if I can race right up the street. Uh, they say he's laid out in the parking lot. Alright, there's our subject right there. So I'm not sure if he's just passed out or is he hurt. Didn't get much um, information. Sir, you okay? Sir. Sir. Do you need help? Alright, I'm gonna have to call for an ambulance. He's not really that responsive to me. Sir, sir, you okay? Okay, he has a pulse, so I'm gonna assume he's alright. Okay, there we go. He's starting to move a little bit, so. Alright, sir, I got an ambulance on the way for you. Just sit tight for me, man. Can you tell me what happened? Do you remember what happened? Do you know how you're here? Okay, he he's not talkative, so and there's nobody around that actually here to help him, so Alright man, just sit tight. We got paramedics right here for you. He was just laid out on the ground when I got here, man. I'm not sure what was the problem. Alright, so they're going to be going ahead and taking him on to the hospital. Um, hopefully they can get him checked out. I'm not sure if he's just drunk or what. He has a clown outfit on, so who knows. But they're going to take him out and he's going to get some help.